Hello, I'm Derek Tabers. This is your Euro Truck Simulator 2 mod spotlight. Ah, I'm already in the truck. In fact, this is the truck we spotlighted. Oh, I think last time, I guess. This is the Scania that we spotlighted. I will point out that the Scania is terribly slow. Um, and that I've decided I hate the left mirror. But that's not what we're talking about. That's just merely me complaining about things. Um, that left mirror is just so low res. Anyway, what are we changing? Well, in this particular mod spotlight, we're going to change the graphics again. The link is going to be down below. This is the default graphics. This is how it looks as you play the game. There is absolutely nothing on here. Oh, I need to move over. Thank you. I don't have any shaders or anything on here. So while we're rolling over the bridge that would have taken us to Frankfurt, which was completely not the place I wanted to go, because we're all going all the way down into Italy, I think, which stinks because this terrible truck has to make it over the Alps, but that's, that's a different problem. So what I'm going to do is I will, as soon as this car passes me and I can move over again, uh, I'm going to go load the graphical mod on here and we'll see the difference in the graphics. Well, we're back, and things do look different. That is a nice museum. That looks to be a old DC-6. Anyway, uh, whoa. <laughs> so first off, you'll notice that the, the sky behind me, if you look in the mirrors, the sky is different. It's got a, a deeper, richer tone to it. All the plants seem to pop a little bit more. Overall, it's just a, a nicer look. Everything looks a little bit fresher, a little bit cleaner, a little bit more pretty. Now, graphical mods like this, you have to be careful with because they can obviously impact your frame rate performance. I'm not seeing any frame rate performance hits. And things are cranked all the way up so if I were to get frame rate hits I would expect to have gotten it already so it looks I mean look at that it looks pretty over there <laughs> doesn't usually look this pretty now we did use the red shader uh, back before the last update and the red shader was okay but it wasn't the best now, this one also purports to make some changes to the nighttime, uh, making things a little bit darker, which is why we're always going to drive during the day. Additionally, it helps with the high tones, and it's supposed to kind of cut down some of the luminescence of the roads a little bit. I'm not sure it's doing it completely. It's doing it in my mirrors for sure. I'm not really sure it's really cutting down the luminescence of the roads. So that's supposed to cut some of the, the red tones when you have sunrise and sunset, which is good because those red tones actually do contribute to some performance problems in some machines. Not my machine, but I have seen reports on forums about the night, uh, the sunrise, sunset causing performance issues. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get out of the truck a little bit. Try not to kill anybody while we do this. I think it looks really nice. I mean, is it the best shader in the world? I don't I don't know if I can say it is. But it does appear to make a nice change to the stock game. I, we were going to die if I kept doing that. <laughs> Makes a, a nice change without causing massive hit to your performance. Uh, I think it's nice. The link is down below. It is a pretty large download. It is a half gig uh, in RAR, and then you're going to have to unzip it. There's actually two files. Uh, one is most of the HD textures, and then the other one is vegetation. Um, you won't be able to tell this unless you read Russian um, or if you open it like I did because I didn't know what in the world it was changing. Look at all the plants up there. Very nice. Woo! I'm driving like a maniac, driving like a maniac. 
All right, so this is the HD shader. It does also change. You can tell as soon as it's active because it'll change the, lo the load screens to say that it is active, uh, which is a nice touch. You, you then know for sure that you actually have it running. We'll probably keep this on and see if we notice any other changes down the road. But right now I say that this is a very nice shader. Definitely worth you taking a look at if you want to kind of spruce up the environment of your truck simulator two while we wait for SCS to spruce up the environment of your truck simulator two, which they are purportedly going to be doing at some point in time. I think I see the lack of luminosity in the road right through here. That's good. All right, until next time, I've been Derek Tebbers. This has been your Euro Truck Simulator 2 Mod Spotlight of the eighth and HD Graphics Pack. Link is down below as always. Until next time, happy trucking, everybody.